Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to try a few new things I bought at Sephora with the uh, VIP discount. Uh, I bought a few stuff new for me. They're not new. They're not new like in the market, but they're new for me. I think the only one that is new is the Sephora foundation. I'm gonna show you this new stuff I'm playing. I'm just playing with new stuff I bought. I got super excited. I get super excited every time I buy something new, even though I know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it a lot because I'm not I don't go out that much, especially especially now. But yeah, I always get excited when I get new stuff. If you want to see what I bought, then keep on watching. Okay, so I have a few new stuff. This is how they sent me the Sephora foundation. I have the Sephora foundation in shade 7. And then I also bought this milk makeup stick matte bronzer i bought the small size this is 15 dollars i think i think this is 20 but i'll put the, uh, all the details in the description and then i also bought the lila b glisten glow skin illuminator this is new I also bought the small Lila B A Glow Face Mist because I've been I was uh, looking for a um, setting spray, um, good setting spray. I also have the Cosas Concealer. This is not new, new, new. Like I already tried it once, but all of these things I just received them. Um, but yeah, I am gonna, I'm excited about the, the foundation because I, I've seen already videos and I really liked it and people are saying good things about it. So I'm excited to try this one. So, um, I already put some Juice Beauty SPF. I was wearing a mask before, so maybe it's not completely there anymore, but um, yeah, but I still have some. So I am going to start with the foundation. I'm excited. The shade, the shades uh, are very weird, to be honest. Um, this is light, I think, so I don't even know if it's going to work for my skin but this is what it looks like oh it's pretty you see i like it it is creamy um and it's thick i'm excited so i'm gonna apply more so i'm gonna use the sponge on this side let me put this because my hair is in my face. I honestly don't know how much to put. So I'm going to start with that. Uh, and I'm just going to... So, you know I don't like to use sponges because they suck the whole product. And this is no exception. There's no product there anymore. I feel like I'm like I'm gonna have to apply a lot, a lot of product. So this is one layer. I'm gonna do the other one. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm gonna do it with brush. As I'm squeezing, like I don't feel there's a lot of product. I mean, it has one fluid ounce, but I feel like I, 
right? When I squeeze it, I feel like the product is here. Like it's not, um, it's not full, this thing. But it's supposed to have one ounce. So, let me see. This is better. Definitely with the brush is better. I think it's light for my skin, for my tone. But I think I'd rather have it light and then just bronze everything than have it dark and then uh, have to put concealer on top of it. In my opinion, it's easier to to fix a light, a light um, foundation than a dark one. So, I don't know what you guys think. It does look like I have foundation. It doesn't look very skin. Um, I don't know if it's because of my dry skin that it looks like you can see the strokes of the um, brush that's a little bit better i mean it's not um definitely in this one i have to put more so i'm gonna do that maybe with the sponge it will look less powdery I'm assuming I will have to, cause, cause the um, the uh, the finish looks and feels very dewy and creamy and hydrating, but for some reason is just applying on my skin very powdery. Maybe I need to prep my skin better, or um. Um, use a thicker cream moisturizer so this is a little bit better it definitely looks better when I apply it with the sponge is less coverage we already I, I mean I already know that it's gonna be less coverage but uh, it definitely has a better finish but it's ridiculous that I have to apply foundation three times against one time with the brush. So I'm going to go with the brush just to build it a little bit more to see if it's I can get it to a full coverage. Maybe if I do like that, like stippling motions. Hold on. Well, this side definitely looks better. It looks more radiant. Maybe, again, maybe because of the sponge in this side, like I just can't make it look radiant for some reason. But I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Like this, this is more radiant and this is more matte. I think it's a little a little bit light for my skin. So now I'm going to use the Kosas. I'm using shade 04. And uh I'm I like this a lot. Like a little bit goes a very long way. Like I feel that I don't need that much. I haven't tried it with the sponge. Maybe with the sponge, it will be less coverage. I normally um, apply it with my, with my fingers. I'm having a rash in this side. Um, that 
never helps when I'm applying a new concealer because like you can see the marks you can see it's like flakes on my under eye and it doesn't it never helps when I'm trying a concealer because it's very dry I don't know if it's dry or it's just like a reaction like an allergy or both like with my skin I never know to be honest I'm gonna apply a little bit over here. I feel like I have a lot of makeup. And since I haven't been using, I haven't been using makeup lately. Um, then anytime I use any makeup, like it, I feel like it looks super heavy. Also, my nose is kind of dry, but I don't know if you guys can see it. Look, I feel like it looks a little bit heavy on my skin. I definitely like the Kara Wise, the new Invisible Touch Foundation. That's definitely my type of foundation. Like it's a serum type of foundation. So it's super, super light. So I like that a lot. This one is more full coverage. The other one is definitely lighter, a lighter coverage. I'm having a hard time opening this. Okay, there you go. So let's see. This is awesome to travel with. Oh, oh this is so cute. Let me, see. Let me swatch it. Oh my God. You know, I've been trying to find something like the Chanel, the um, Soleil Tan. This shade and creamy as that one because that one was, that one is amazing. But again, I stopped using it and because um, it's not clean. So I stopped using that one and I haven't found one that I like as much as that one. I haven't found one that I like as much as that one. I think that's what I said. Oh, uh, anyway. So I'm going to try this. Oh my God, it's so creamy. I love it. So in case my foundation is too light, then I can fix it with this. some on my eye I like it I've seen people do it, put it here too I've never tried it but I'll definitely try it today and I'm gonna use these brushes are so weird because they're retractable <laughs> but I don't know, I just feel that they are weird. They are not super good, but they're very functional because if you want less coverage, then just go like that and you're, you're definitely going to have less coverage because it's like it's less dense, I guess. But I like to use it in the medium. I like this bronzer a lot. I'm loving it. <gasps> yes. Where was I? Like, I know this is not new. Where was I when this came out? I honestly didn't know that milk was clean, clean. So, maybe that's why. But I like it a lot. It's so, so pretty. I love it. So for blush, I have the Vanessa Myricks blush. 
I'm not sure if this is clean clean to be honest I, I'm not an expert on ingredients um, the ingredients I saw they were not that bad uh, so I don't think I like this bronzy there so I'm just gonna um, the ingredients I saw they weren't super bad I think uh, but I don't know if it's considered clean I tried this one um, a few months ago when I was I'm pregnant so I was right now I'm on my second trimester when I was on my in my third in my first trimester I tried it and this has a very very strong smell and I just couldn't take it like my first trimester always like with my other babe with my other kid and with this pregnancy I just can't smell strong things it's just too much so I'm gonna see if I can actually handle the smell right now that is supposed to second trimester is supposed to be better but um yeah I'm hoping I can smell it because it's a good like you really need very small amount and it's a really good blush but very strong very very strong smell so and it's very matte I feel like it's very matte very pigmented and very matte which is fine because um, sometimes the blushes that are very dewy they don't last too long than the blushes that go matte I mean it's not a rule but I've had that experience but it is a very pretty blush in my opinion you saw I only did two teeny tiny dots and that's enough like that's the only thing you need I like it and the smell is not that bad anymore like thankfully I got out of my first trimester so I can stand the smells a little bit more um, my concealer looks heavy too Again, I'm not used to wear a lot of um, makeup anymore. So anything I have is too much for me. But I feel that in this part, is, this side is the one I don't like. This part, like, I can see my fine lines a lot more. I mean, I'm getting old, right? But I can see them a lot more. It does cling into dry patches. You see my, I have it on my lips. I also have like a rash. So I feel like it's clinging a lot there. Like it's kind of dry. And I thought it, I didn't think it was a dry formula to be honest, but it is dry. On, on my skin again I have extremely dry sensitive skin reactive eczema and the whole enchilada so now I'm gonna go with the Lila Beam um, illuminator I'm, I have the Be Enchanting I'm trying to open it because it's new and I didn't bring a knife or anything to open it there you go oh it's so pretty <laughs> everything is so pretty i love this i bought the small one this is i think 32 dollars because the big one is 60 and since i i haven't tried it yet this is my first time i really wanted to try it first before i bought the huge one this has 0.08 ounces or 2.5 grams 
but it looks so pretty. I don't know if you can see. It looks beautiful. Let me see. Let me swatch. I don't know if you can see it here. So I'm up. I've always been obsessed with the Cover X, um, the drops. I stopped using them a while ago, and I haven't find anything that is like that. This is like powdery too. It's not super, super, super shiny, but it's pretty. Like it's a very natural. I do like the pearly tones on highlighters a lot. So that's normally what I'm trying, what I'm uh, looking for, like a pearl tone. This is not super, super, super bright, but it's very pretty still. Again, it goes more on the, um, I don't know if you can see here. Like it looks kind of powdery. I feel like my face looks extremely um, heavy on makeup. I don't like it. I'm gonna do my eyelashes and lips off camera and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, my hair is a little bit rebel right now, but I finished. Um, my lashes are terrible, super small, super short. I was using a uh, lash serum, but when I got pregnant, I stopped using it. So now my long lashes fell. And I only have short lashes. So if you guys know of an eyelash serum that I can use while pregnant, please, please let me know because my lashes are a mess, to be honest. So now I'm going to finally use the setting spray from Lila B. I also saw a few vid videos. And I saw that it looked that, that, that I saw that it has um like a dewy finish too. I bought the small size. But um yeah, I'm excited to try. I bought small sizes because I don't I've never tried this. So and Lila B is not super cheap. So yeah, I I I try I want to try things first before before I buy the big sizes. I'm hoping this will help on the finish of the foundation. Like it it goes less powdery. I always go with a sponge like just to make sure it melts on the skin and it blends. Here is where I see the most um, powdery finish. What do you guys think? I like the finish of the setting spray a lot. So yeah, this is it guys. Uh, I'm not sure if I love this. I think maybe it's too heavy for my dry skin. Uh, but I like this one. I love, love this one a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, yes, a lot. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.